Hi folks, Donny here. I'm just coming back with another quick video on the user interface or the UI for the mobile app for Aura, just to give you an idea of what you see. And you can see here, first up, the top right over here where the little circles are, um, indicates the battery level. So if you click on that, you'll see there, it shows battery at the moment, 72%, and that's also where you can put it into airplane mode. Uh, yes, because it's got Bluetooth that connects to the uh, to the phone the whole time. I also want to do another test uh, next time, next week, and have a look and see by putting it on airplane mode, how does it work or not work, and how does it affect the battery life. And then the other thing there just to remember is the, when those rings go red, it means the battery levels dropped about 25% or lower. If it uses about 15% overnight, because that's when it does most of its work, so if you've got 15, 14% left, you've got to charge it before you go to bed. You just drop it onto its little wireless charging stand. Um, but if you've got 20 to 25% left, you've got enough to, to reach to the next day without really having a problem, I think. So yeah, that's battery level. And next is respiratory rate. It's showing to does the landing screen really. Respiratory rate gives you a bit of an overview there of what respiratory rate is as well as my trend over the last couple of days and I think you can oh, you can't go back there then the daily UCSF temp predict survey is the voluntary program I'm participating with one of the US universities looking at anybody that comes down with COVID-19 not that I've got it yet but they're looking to see uh, what sort of indicators the ring picks up so they can adjust their algorithms to help predict for that sort of thing uh, it's also got a readiness score here and it explains there your resting heart rate indicates you're well rested so it gives me a bit of a summary based on my history this is my heart rate from last night remembering that the aura ring is measuring its detailed recording is actually at night while you're sleeping it gives me my sleep score for last night it's not that good um, sometimes usually hitting the 90s but I'll be interested to see what happens tonight because I did exercise this morning and it's showing some interesting trends between when I exercise and how my sleep improves and I want to show that on a graph um, in another video so it just gives me a summary of the of the night's sleep as well as the time in each stage and the percentage your activity goal progress for the day it's just showing on a graph there how long I have been inactive today uh, what my goal is and if I click on it you can get a graph as well to compare over the last couple of days I did do an exercise this morning so it's already showing fairly high activities there I've already entered the activity for my elliptical training this morning 32 minutes but basically you click on the plus over there you'd select add a workout what workout it is starting time duration and how intense it was and they've got a whole bunch of exercises some of these people won't be doing at the moment with lockdowns I suppose uh, again it's just to indicate how to fix things like your sleep readiness scores and your overall fitness and so on so it's a useful sort of a comparison for bedtime it gives me a recommendation each day based on my readiness and my restfulness etc uh, when I should probably try and go to bed tonight so it's saying I must try and get to bed a bit earlier tonight uh, 23 15 to just after midnight rather because I went to bed last night at half past 12 I'm just going to check okay that's the activity summary let's go on to the readiness tab so readiness is just showing my score for the last few days and you've got a couple of key indicators the resting heart rate which is taken at night there's my trend for the last couple of days it also tells you more about the resting heart rate why it's important, how the, what the ring does to measure it and so on. There's the heart rate variability. Again, the trend, and it tells you a bit more about it. I'm not going to take too long or read this out. What I'll do is you can just pause the video to read this if you want to. Uh, the website itself gives, does give a lot more detail than the mobile app. There's the temperature variance. This is while you're sleeping, so you'll notice it always drops a little bit. There's one night it went up, um, and it tells you why the temperature is important here. This is just a delta, so it's taking a benchmark and looking at whether your temperature is going up or down. It's not a specific readout as per se. It tells you how it measures the variation. 
and the trend will start showing up when it's got a bit more data. So at the moment, it doesn't have a lot of data, really. And what else have we done? Respiratory rate. There's my trend again. And they're giving the explanation as well. So I am within range. Their website, anybody can go to the website and have a look at their guide, and it'll tell you a lot more detail about this as well. Um, there's just a summary as well for the readiness. What, what contributing to the awards the readiness? Everything at the moment is blue, so it's good. Uh, if there was something red, it would be something that I need to give attention to. There's the heart rate variability uh, graph from last night. I think there's also some, in, oh, we've already looked at variability. See, max, oh, okay. Uh, yes, it's just a bit more info there. Just want to check what else there was on here. Average heart rate, rest periods. Okay, the rest periods as well. There's also periods you can do for meditation and other things that, that would also be counted and show up. But let me go on to sleep. Sleep there at the top is just the graph of the trends for the different types of sleep stages over the last couple of days. The important part there is, okay, last night, or well, this morning, should I say, I was disturbed early and I tried to get back to sleep. So what you'll see, my time in bed is a lot longer than my total sleeping time. Normally, they are at least a little bit closer. There's a sleep efficiency, resting heart rate while sleeping. And you'll see there, it's in red, it's telling me restfulness. I was very restful last night. Uh, I need to pay attention to that and the timing. So they're saying go to bed a little bit earlier. Again, based on trends. That's the sleep data, sleep stages, sorry. And, yeah, resting heart rate again. Okay, let's go on to the activity one, which is the last of the tabs. This is basically your steps and your, your amount of exertion during the day. So at the top, it's showing you the bright blues when I had medium level activity. So this morning, I've already got my exercise logged. Calories, total burn, walking equivalency, steps for the day so far. And again, it'll show how active I have been. Red ones, I've got to pay attention to. I'm not meeting my daily targets and my training frequently enough. I'm only doing twice a week at the moment. Uh, the daily movement, you can see what I did for the day. If you go to yesterday, you can see those entire days. There was an exercise day, obviously, on Tuesday. And how long I've spent at different levels of activity. And there was the workout that I added this morning already as well. On the front screen, let me just show you quickly here. If I click on that plus, that is where I'll show you now where to add a, how to add a workout. But take a moment. These are the things. This is basically meditation. So you can have an unguided or you can have a mindful meditation-led session. You can just have restful breathing exercises, calming sounds. That's obviously with sound. Or you can do a body stats. Uh, see, you can check how your body's doing with a status check. And basically, you lie down for 10 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever, and it'll do, it'll do readings like it does at night. In other words, measuring heart rate variability and, and so on and so forth in more detail. It, I tried it. It doesn't work for exercises because you're too active. So you've got to be still for it. But um, yeah, that's that one. And then the other one is the tags. So they've got a whole lot of tag, new tags at the top. Sick, cold, flu, and confirmed COVID-19. If you've got any of those, you can now flag those as, as tagged items. But there's things like alcohol. So you'd have that. You'd tag that maybe if you had alcohol, say, at 8 o'clock in the evening. Uh, cool bedroom. Uh, I had an injury. Uh, hot bedroom. Headache. Uh, hot bath. The idea really is to see if any of these later on play a role in affecting your uh, indicators. So whether it's sleep or readiness and that sort of thing, you could then go back and have a look. You'll see supplements there, travel. Uh, there's even outdoors. In other words, I was in the sun and, and, and got some vitamin D or something, or I worked late or I had a late meal. So these are things you can look at later on to see how they, in, how they affect your indicators. And then just one last quick thing on the menu itself here is the trends. Um, again, you can just click under the sleeps here. You can say to bedroom. It'll show you quickly your bedtime uh, trends for the last couple of days. The estimated time you went to bed and how that uh, varied. You can have a look at latency, which is the time it takes you to fall asleep. Uh, so this is on average. So you could you could compare this to the time you went to bed and see if there's if the one does affects the other one. Normally, you should be 15 to 20 minutes. 
you can have a look at your REM sleep trends, sleep score, time in bed, uh, overall time in bed that is, uh, total actual sleep time, oh, and you also have a time that you woke up uh, specifically, time you got out of bed should I say. So these are all things you can play off against each other to see if, if what affects what really. Um, body temperature we've actually looked at already for the sleep one. I think the others we, we have actually already largely looked at. The activity one um, I can have a look at. Well, goal completion is not generally going to be that good I suppose at the moment. But again, you've got trends and information. I think that's about it then really uh, what we can look forward to then as I said is in the next day or two or three I'll be doing a video on what the trends show on the website itself because I have picked up some interesting trends already myself even though I've only worn the ring for mm, coming up for two weeks uh, oh in fact uh, sorry day is actually two weeks finding battery life is about six days roughly uh, we'll see if that sleep uh, if that aircraft mode makes any difference but Otherwise, I'm enjoying it. I hardly notice the ring. I um, can wear it basically all the time. It is waterproof. Um, I've only showered with it and so on a few times. I generally am taking it off, but you, you don't really know. It's, it's not like a Fitbit or something else. You really don't notice you've got it on most of the time. And as I've said elsewhere, the Fitbit is only measuring step count resting heart rate. Uh, and one or two basics. What it's not measuring, which this ring does measure, is things like respiration rate, respiratory rate, as well as temperature differentials. So the ring does have a lot more information on variables that can play off against each other. So the chances of seeing more useful trends is a lot more than, say, the Fitbit um, itself is actually showing at this stage. So I'll be interested to see what those trends actually show. But I'll be back then with another video on that uh, in the next sort of two, three days and we can see what it shows. So yeah, enjoy the day further and stay safe.